Well, we've had a busy week. He's not kidding. We completed another project and this week we're giving away all of this stuff. We'll tell you how at the end of the video, but before we get to that, it's time for a make or break. Hey guys, welcome back to Make or Break, where we share our favorite maker videos of the week and then challenge ourselves to build a project of our own. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah, and this week we have a giant sofa table. A coffee pod holder. And a project with bent plywood. Let's get to it. First up, we have this awesome end table that Ansley made, trying out a new bending technique for plywood. With the material in place for the base, she added some banding to hide the nails and gave old material new life by recycling wood for the top. It looks great, Ansley. You can find her projects at Instagram at smallfrydiy or on YouTube at smallfrycreations. When you say CNC, the first thing that comes to my mind is small, very detailed pieces, but not so much giant wooden table legs. Well, Donnie from Designs by Donnie, naturally, is on a mission to show the potential of incorporating his CNC machine on much larger woodworking projects like this sofa table. This thing is a beast and turned out fantastic. This next find is from Workshop Edits. Zach was asked to make this super modern looking coffee table for his sister, making him way nicer than I am. You would totally make something for your sister. Maybe. Anyways, he makes the coffee table using furniture grade plywood, which looks super nice. The end result is beautiful and surprisingly strong. All right, this is the last stop on YouTube. Alexander Chappelle started his project with a beautiful piece of oak to make a custom Nespresso coffee pot holder that perfectly holds two boxes of pods. Uh, that'd hold you over for like, what, an afternoon? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, actually, that's about it. We just need to make five of them, maybe <laughs> five. That works. If you love coffee or espresso as much as me, go check out this project on YouTube. So what if I do drink 10 cups of coffee a day? Yeah, you wouldn't be you if you didn't. Ali is preparing the final touches on her unique metal frame dining room table with attached seating. Now we just have to wait for the final pictures to be posted. I found this fresh Instagram account this week and the post that has me wanting more is this homemade archery target. Christy, that is freaking awesome. All right, and this here has to be the best looking cutting board I have ever seen. Harvey Reams Woodworking shared this photo saying he's bringing back the style from the 80s. Were you even alive in the 80s? Nope. Bob shared this photo of leftover butcher block from their podcast table build and asked for ideas what they should do with it. Do you have any ideas? Um, it looks perfect for like food prep. Like, I don't know, maybe um, treat it and put it outside, part of a grill setup or something like that. Okay. All right, well, I think that it should be used for a tabletop for a kid's drawing table. Mm -hmm. But you can leave your ideas in his Instagram comments. Okay, it's project time. Yes, it is. This week we made a patio lantern inspired by the Daily DIYer. Here's how it turned out. This week we wanted to make lanterns inspired by the Daily DIYer. Yep, so we started by looking for the straightest two by twos we could find. After we were happy with our selection, we grabbed some nails, little feet, and headed back to the shop. Using our miter saw, we cut the two by twos down to size, four pieces at 22 inches long and eight pieces at eight inches long. While Sarah did that, I was utilizing some leftover plywood to cut a 12 by 12 piece for the base. Before long, we had all of our pieces and started sanding. As we assembled the frame, we used a little bit of glue and a brad nailer to hold it together. Now, you can use a hammer and nails if you don't have one. Once the box was assembled, we flipped it upside down, lined up where the base would sit, and nailed it down. Next was a few coats of paint, some waterproof top coat, and since this will be sitting outside, we added some feet to protect the bottom from any water, and this build was done. So were you still glad you chose me like bright orange? Oh, definitely. So we have a ton of colorful items like that on our patio, so it oh, fits sense. in perfectly. Well, good. This week are going to attempt to organize our many many batteries and chargers. Okay, I've been waiting to do this forever. Yeah, we have a lot of chargers for sure. Our inspiration for this week's project comes from Evan and Caitlin, who made their own monstrous charging station last year. Yeah, but they have like six chargers. So? We have like nine different battery platforms. We'll adjust. Hey, do us a big favor and punch that like button for us. And if you're not subscribed, you can do that too. All right, what about our giveaway? Oh yeah, I forgot. This week we're giving away a ton of heart tools, all the ones you see here. This is a great way to start a shop of your oh, own. If you've sure. already got a shop, hey, go ahead and win anyways and give it away to a friend or a neighbor that you think would benefit from becoming a maker of their own. All right, all you need to do to get entered is post a photo of a project that you have done using the hashtag MakerBreak. Yep, and you can post that to either Instagram or Facebook. All right, break's over. Let's go make something. 